Okay. So good to see you. You too. So my name is Jasmine Flowers and I'm representing I Hear That Girl. So I just, on behalf of I Hear That Girl, I just want to say thank you for doing this interview with us. Oh, my pleasure, Jasmine. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. So I want to just go ahead and jump right into it. So I want to first start with The Proud Family. The Proud Family is such an iconic show. Uh, I think it just lives in our hearts. Why do you think that it has gained so much support for so long? Yeah, I was surprised too, you know, I, I, I had no idea the kind of impact it was having uh, on the country. Um, but I, I remember uh, back in 2017, I was I was working at the University of Texas with some students. And, you know, you kind of introduce yourself and you kind of run down your credits and they were kind of like, oh, but when I got to um, I'm the voice of DJ and they're like, what? like the whole class i was like what oh i had no idea that was the credit that you know <laughs> excited them so it was very eye-opening to me too um but i think you know it was it had been such a long time where black and brown an entire cast mm -hmm. of black and brown people were featured in an animated cartoon and so i think that was just just so you know, refreshing. Uh, we, we hadn't seen it in such a long time. So I, I think that was its greatest impact, you know, and Absolutely. certainly, you know, with Destiny's Child doing the, the opening credit music and, you know, and it was just so fresh and new and, and really addressed things that the, the kids at those times were, were dealing with. So it, it, it was great. It was big fun. Absolutely. So you just said, before the, when you said Dijanae, everybody was like, yes. So I think that Dijanae was such a great character. A lot of people said that she was gossipy and that she got Penny into a lot of na negative or nasty situations. But I just think that she was a friend that likes to have fun, that spiced up situations. So what do you like the most about portraying or voicing Dijanae? Uh, yeah, for exactly those things. Um, I think she's fun. I think she likes herself. She loves herself. She's just one of those girls that that just goes all in, you know. Um, I think we have, you know, friends. I have a sister who loves the gossip and my niece. We call her sister speak on it. You know, you just have those friends. They're not mean, you know. That's just part of their personality. And so, you know, even though it may get on your nerves sometimes, but you know, it's 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 all love. And I think that's DJNA just represents that that girlfriend who can get on your nerves and love you at the same time. I totally agree. So last question about the Proud Family. What is something new? Because we now have the reboot, uh, the Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. What is something new that we can expect from the reboot? Well, um, certainly you're you're gonna see them, they're growing up. Mm -hmm. And they're dealing with different things, the things that kids are dealing with today, all the social media. So you'll get a lot more, um, you know, proud family world uh, slang and isms and, you know, uh, all their different words that they use in that proud family world. Uh, we've got a whole host of amazing celebrity and entertainers that are voicing characters. So that's going to be so exciting. We got Lizzo. I mean, we just got a whole yeah. bunch of folks and it's, it, it's going to be a treat. It's, it's going to yeah. be so much fun. Yeah. I'm about the cast coming back and then having Lizzo and I heard Tiffany Haddish. Palmer, <laughs> Tiffany, yes, Chance the Rapper. I mean, yeah. just so Al Roker. I mean, just a plethora of people. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it. I think it's like, this is exactly what we need. You know, not all reboots get it right, but I, we, I think we all have a good feeling about the Proud family, Louder and Prouder. <laughs> yeah. So I, I want to switch gears here to like just to give you your flowers and so many things that you have done in the industry. I mean, from Lean On Me to The Cosby Show, A Different World, and also uh, How Did I Get Away With Murder and so many other shows that you've been a part of. You've been busy for a long time and this year coming up is no different. So we already know in addition to The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, you also will be in a Netflix show a monster talking about the Jeffrey Dahmer story as well. And you'll be playing Shirley uh, Hughes as well as you're going to be in uh, Tyler Perry's bruh, uh, 
portraying the character Hilda. Yeah. Now, with everything that's going on, how have you seen the difference between acting uh, pre-COVID and COVID now? How how are you handling being an actress now? Wow, good question. Um, you know, it's um, we, you know, it's it's just strange times. <laughs> you know, we we can't get around that. Um, but you know, the, the industry, and I think, you know, a lot of industries, we're finding ways to work it out. I mean, certainly doing the Proud Family uh, at this time, it was good because that's how we normally operate, going into the booth by ourselves, doing our lines. So that, that lent itself to, to the COVID, you know, isolation and separation. Um, but doing uh, bra, you know, uh, getting the COVID test daily and, <laughs> Um, you know, I'm, I'm fully vaccinated and boosted. I believe in vaccination, you know, but having to wear a mask and people around you. So you, and we're so used to hugging, you know, you see people, we, we hug, we hug all the time. And, you know, that's been strange. You don't know how to, when you work with somebody you, you knew, so it, it, it you have to find different ways and to connect. You don't see people's faces, you're just seeing their eyes. So so it, it does take a little bit of effort to kind of gel with people, especially you're supposed to be their daughter or their mother and you're supposed to have these kinds of relationships. So, so it is a little different and, and I think we're just learning and trying to do our best throughout it, you know, the best we can. Absolutely. I think like in the world that we live in, so many people are not really sure about pursuing a career in the arts and if they will have longevity, but I think that you have been a, a testament that yes, you can have a career where you are an artist and doing what you love. What kind of motivation would you give to an up and coming artist or someone who has been thinking about it for a long time and just may not have pursued it? What kind of motivation would you give to them to tell them to keep going? Uh, just that, keep going. Those who have put it off, if not now, when? You know, mm -hmm. I think certainly with this climate of COVID and so many deaths, it's like, why wait? Like, you know, go for it. Right. You know, it's 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 okay to fail, right? It's a hard business, you know, but if it's if it's in your heart, if it's your passion, um, it, you know, it's an up and down business. You'll learn to ride the wave. Everybody has their own journey. Everybody's career looks different. Right. You know, don't compare your career to somebody else's, you know, but, but just, just keep going. You know, if it's, if it's just a privilege and honor, and I'm very fortunate to get to do what I want and to make a living mm -hmm. at it. So, um, you know, yeah. that I'm, I'm very privileged and, and honored to have that. So I encourage you, just go for it. It's, it's, it's the highs are wonderful. The lows are manageable. You can, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So yeah, go That's for it for sure. Beautiful, motivating thing to say to people. So one of my last questions here, uh, I cannot let this month, Black History Month, even though we know we are Black 365 and we're going to celebrate it always from yes. the womb to the tomb. Yes. I want to know how you feel about representation and how uh, more Black stories are being told. I want to know what you think that people are getting right and where there's still room for growth. Yeah, well, there's always room for growth, mm -hmm. always, period. You know, um, I think uh, because of the social injustice and, and the Me Too movement and everything that's been going on, you know, people are making an effort mm -hmm. to, you know, to look at more diversity uh, in the entertainment business and certainly more can be done. Um, I got to do my first Hallmark Christmas movie, you know, which was on like my, my bucket list. And, okay. you know, I, I never, you know, it's something I wanted to do, but I didn't know how I was going to get in that world. Um, I think opening up, um, making all of our entertainment just look like everyday life. I mean, yes. black people are everywhere. We're in Nebraska. I mean, we're we're everywhere. We're you know. Everywhere. So if if people would just you know open up their perspective, their vision of how they're seeing the world, of how they're seeing leading characters, um, you know, I want to do rom coms. I think I can be a romantic comedy star. Why not an older black woman being a romantic comedy star? I mean, there's so many single black women who are looking for relationships. And, and I think that's a niche that, 
that we need to feel. That's one particular thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that that can come to fruition. I would love that. And I, I 100% agree with you on that. Like I have actually said to my sister before, like I would love to see roles of older African-American women still experiencing love and, mm -hmm. you know, still being their wonderful selves so people can see like, Life doesn't end at 30. Like we're still thriving, 40s, 50s, 60s, 100. So yeah, I right. think that's the thing to say. Yes, absolutely. I want to thank you so much on behalf again of I Hear That Girl. Thank you so much, Kara White. I think you've given our audience so much to think about and we're looking forward to The Proud Family. We're also looking forward to Monster. We're looking forward to your character on Bruh and so many other things that you're gonna be doing. All right, thank you so much. Pleasure speaking with you, Jasmine. It was great speaking with you too. Have a great day. All right. Stay safe. Okay. Bye-bye.